Hi everybody, Pedro here for PG Continuing Journey Channel, and reflecting on the um, the nice view that I'm, I'm wearing. Believe it or not, I'm wearing a hoodie and a hat. As gorgeous as it is, as I originally thought. But well, let's get right into it because I got a lot to share. First of all, I was up point eight. I ran, so my ground weight stands at two seventy four point four pounds. That was not bad at all, considering that last week there was a lot more ED out involved than I originally expected. First was, um, let's see, I don't got the blog on me right now, so I'm going to try to remember this every day as I possibly can. I had, um, yes, yes, I was eating at Sophie's uh, last Friday, and I just had a quarter chicken, some steamed vegetables, and some platanos. That was very good, or plantains. It was a very good lunch there because I had a, another appointment with a different urologist. I was supposed to do a follow up with the first urologist I saw earlier this year, but I had no family member to take me there, and I was not going to risk getting lost doing the um, public transportation, which was within half a day on three different buses, so I was not going to take that risk. At least I know the area. At least in Midtown Manhattan, by the Park Ave, in the Park Avenue, close to Grand Central, I know where my new year office office was. But sadly, they took away my favorite diner from back in the days. It's gone. Oh, man. But anyway, so everything with the ER just went well. I just got to do a follow-up in the first Friday in October. And just, just be sure everything is normal. I just have a piece of light hem light piece of hemorrhoids. You know, when I use the use the toilet and occasional bleeding happens, I think it's dry skin. But it does bleed at from time to time. But not even but it's a minor thing, thank God. So anyway, there was a, the following day more eating out to the tuna Chinese food, fried chicken wings, steamed vegetables with a little garlic sauce in it, and shrimp egg rolls. And then some more yam for Portuguese, although leftover salad and a quarter of a banana bread sandwich from family there. But all other meals, I did my best to stay on point. But also, the moment I hear from the family, oh, this is too sweet. I now know what what the cookies not to bring in. I took advantage of the big sale that they had on uh Marshmallow chocolate covered cookies, but they, they are indeed too sweet. Not for my sweet tooth now. So I ended up giving one unopened um, box to my littlest cousin, and she will enjoy them. And the other open open box went to the birds, and they enjoy them. So back on track. So the food trees are going to be all from home. So we have a big family compare that I did yesterday. is not going to allow me to. um or permit me, I should say, to um, do any eating out anyway, except for coffee, if, if I'm more appropriate. So anyway, that uh, so that's my current week. So the second thing I want, I, as I said, I usually do not try to rant when I hear about the news, but I do want to have something to say about this, about what happened recently, because of a recent shooting that happened last weekend at Sutter Avenue by the L train station. And for me personally, it did, it doesn't come to me as a shock because I was born and raised in East New York, Brooklyn, and I lived in Brazil for nine years. And that Sutter Avenue station on the L train ends, comes to the end of Brazil, and entering East New York. So... Those are the two roughest neighborhoods in Brooklyn where I spent, where I lived the first 42 years of my life. It wasn't surprising to hear that someone got shot. No, my heart, my, no. Prayers go out to the victim, the innocent bystanders who were shot by the police. No, I wish they didn't have done that. But at the same time, they, that's on one side of the coin. The other side of the coin is they did what they had to do to um, get, that, get that troublemaker out of the train and he beat the pair and he had a knife in his hand. Oh, man. And then, and then what, what was the news talking about a few days later? Well, young, young, young mama protesters protesting all 
certain subway stations in Manhattan talking about um, they're protesting what happened at Novonia Station. Here's what I got to say about that. Have those young protesters come to the station where it actually happened, and they may not make it out of their life because of I don't wish nothing bad on nobody, but I'm going to say this. Those, and those young protesters come to the station where it actually happened, I guarantee you, they, they might get shot at too, because that, those, that side, that station is always violent, it's always dangerous, that's why I'm grateful that I no longer live in those broken neighborhoods. So I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. But again, I try not to talk about the news, but this is why I say every time I'm taking a train to and from workflow or a doctor's appointment, appointment, I'm very scared of thinking of one, one of those acts of violence might happen to me. And as a person who was traumatized by a mob of, by a, by a mob of subway riders back in April 22 at the, at the, um, High Street Station, and there was, it was actually two teams getting into a fight, and everybody was stamping over each other on the train, and I gotta tell you, I'm forever traumatized by that. I'm forever traumatized. Because I'm like, because I'm like, I'm thankful I'm gonna die out of their life, but at the same time, I became so frightened, so scared, but you know, um, so, like I said, these things are very tough to talk about, but, but like I said, this violence within the NTA, and now they're talking about, they, are, they have redesigns, listen, redesigns are nice, but the first thing the NTA needs to be focusing on is, doing something about the fair beaters and the violence. Most importantly, the violence. Yeah, and that would be the, the other reason for the shooting, because the N NYPD now wants to crack down these fair beaters. And I see fair beaters all the time, but I'm like, I get out of the way. Any trouble I see on the train, let me tell you another story. Early in the week, on my way to work, the train stopped at Hoyt and Spinnerhorn, and the conductor was off. Was we were home for a while. Ow! We could pass a sick passenger in the train. We are not going to be able to go I don't remember how she said it. I don't know that they said it, but I was like, I am out of here. The train was packed. It's going to be home for a while. And I did not know how long there, it was going to take for them to get um, that station, to get that sick passenger out of there. Well, I'm like, I am out of there. I'm getting out of there. I'm going to another train. Because I'm not dealing with it. Especially at the what happened at that station about six months ago. When another random act of violence occurred that made national headlines, and this set around you also made national headlines as well. I'm like, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing. Uh -huh. It's scary. It's scary. See, this is why. This is why I'm glad. The new week, in spite of a busy one, it was a busy one with laundry, a big, a big grocery shopping involving the family, but it was worth it because we got all, because the supermarket where we spent $300 together has all fresh, fresh, fresh fruits, like they just came, you just said this is that supermarket, and I should going to be going down more, so more often. But the challenge, but the challenge is, there's not going to be no eating. There's going to be no eating out this current, this new week. But the good news is, with family coming from Massachusetts, there's going to be we can, there's going to be some rare food treats, treats involved. And I had some of it yesterday and this morning. And I did my meal prep, so my bar my. Going pasta to make a salad of it because that's what she had for dinner last night. So I took the rest of it. I'm gonna have some of that as lunch later and lunch later in the week. So that part of my meal prep for this new week was already done for me. <laughs> so, like I said, it's tough to walk across that thing. Again, please note this is I do not talk about religion or politics or anything I hear upon the news. 
But as a person who was the MT regularly, I wanted to let this, let my frustration about what I've been, what's been, what I've been hearing going on, and I had to let it out. Because it is scary. It is scary. All the violence that's been going on there these days. And that's why, as I said, unless I have to go to work or a doctor's appointment, I do not want to deal with the MJ subway, period. Yeah, no, I'm, as I mentioned earlier, but I'm, I'm quiet, but I'm not socially awkward. I'm just older and no better. I don't want to, I don't want no new rounds of false friends. Everything that landed me here. In the first place, I'm, I've been through all of that, trying to please everybody, putting, being a fake to support smile on people's faces. But when I was going through my darkest time ever, everybody who I thought was my friend was not there for you. Not there for me, I should say. So all of that, I'm not going through all that one more time. Like I said, I'm glad. Like I said, say these first. Safety is first. Because I'm not putting, I don't put my wealth, my wellness, and my ass on the line for nobody. I'm not doing that. Well, I got a lot of bigger challenges coming up in the coming weeks. But the good news is, once the challenges are coming up is over, I cannot talk about it right now. I'm no longer to go book in again for any reason. So, Right now, I'm just taking a walk just to clear my head from all of that and to be reflective on how my weigh-ins have been more consistent than it has been since COVID. I still have a lot of work to do. I still still have 60 pounds to go, but I'm going to get there sooner or later. And, I'm, and because of these situations coming up, I'm going to be checking out a new podiatrist within my hospital network also next month. So I'll talk about that when I get there. Other than that, my feet are okay. You know, the calluses happen every few weeks, but it doesn't bother me as much as it used to because I do what I got to do to take care of myself. Oh man, it's tough. It's tough. But the good news is, um, when I get home, my mom a nice lunch. I just put together. She was trying to make this soup. Homemade soup that I'm going to enjoy, and then I'm going to get to my workout that's been postponed for the last couple of days. You know, I'm planning to do Crunch's Cardio Go-Go Dance. That is a lot of fun to me back to the 60s and the Go-Go scene. Even if it's Go-Go inspired. But anyway, it's been postponed because Thursday night I was tired, and Friday night it was a big day of errands and laundry too. So we got that over with. Let's see, what else do I want to say? All right, that's it. That's all I got to say right now. Have a great weekend. Make yourselves a priority, and I'll keep you posted on my journey as we go along. Peace.